All right, I'm not Fred, and I'm uh, not in England, not in Cheshire, not in a little lovely field of whatever, straw in Cheshire, you know. It's rainy old England. It's raining on me now, of course, because it's England and it sucks. Well, it's on England. And, uh, yeah, I'm talking and walking, not walking, talking, um, and such. And, yeah, it's a field here in Cheshire. No dogs or anything. Um, yeah, I don't have a dog. Died 20 years ago, so don't have them anymore. And uh, you know, it's better because it'd rain on them anyway, and you'd get depressed, and you know, wouldn't be good for them. Uh, you know, but I'm talking as I'm walking, and uh, talking and walking at the same time as I'm walking, and uh, I'm looking for significance in that. Like it must mean something, right? Uh, it's a field, by the way, here in Uncheshire. Yeah, beautiful field here in Uncheshire. Uh, no rabbits, because uh, you yeah, have to get eaten by everything, because uh, life is stupid. Uh, but anyway, uh, here in Uncheshire, pretty stupid here. Like most places on Earth, it's stupid. It's pretty. It's lovely here in nah, Uncheshire. Yeah, smelly old, dirty, stinking, rotten England. Uh, wet soggy, moldy England. Anyway, but as I walk along and talk, I think about walking and talking, and I say, what does it mean, this walking and talking? And uh, I conclude that uh, it probably means absolutely nothing. If I was on that field, see there's a field way over there, it would probably mean more, because uh, it's even more on Cheshire over there. And so uh, I could probably make more meaning out of my walk in Uncheshire if, uh, yeah, I was over in that more Uncheshire field over there. Uh, so anyway, back to my talking as I am walking and uh, trying to make some meaning out of any of it. Um, I do realize that my feet keep moving in a, a forward direction. Uh, you know, once I set them in motion, they seem to do their thing uh, without any direct, um, you know, guidance from any control mechanism that might exist inside of my um, area up here thing, brain area. Uh, yeah, they just seem to keep moving in this direction as if this direction was going somewhere. Um, it apparently is to some benefit to my entire organism but it's uh, unknown exactly what that would be. This here is what's called here in Uncheshire a tree farm. You see, if you, if you plant some pine trees on your mansion property, uh, you'll actually be able to not pay taxes on the property because you will call it a tree farm because you're farming the trees, you see. And so, uh, yeah, you don't pay taxes on your bazillion dollar estate house here in Uncheshire, where we do still have nobility also, just like crappy old England. Uh, look, it's even got one of them little thingies on the top, like on a boat, a little telescope and shit. Fucking goddamn rich cunts. Anyway, as I'm walking and talking and uh, getting rained on here in Uncheshire, um, I'm contemplating life and meaning and there's a moth that flies by, and I say, ooh, it's going to lay some little caterpillar on something. Ooh, creepy, creepy. And I say that, and uh, get a little willy feeling. Ooh. And, uh, you know, it sort of shrivels everything up. And, uh, you know, the penis shortens everything. It's just, oh, it's, it's not a good thing. Um, and that's what happens as I'm walking and talking. Now, the problem is here, if I keep walking and talking in this particular direction, I will end up behind a fence. And I'll be fenced in and their Dobermans will come and eat me. So I guess I better no longer walk and talk in Uncheshire and go back to my uh, usual shit reality, uh, you know, where the peasants are allowed to walk and talk. Uh, yes, I am a peasant. Uh, yep. I own no property. Uh, yeah, see, here's the fence that's fencing me in. So now the Dobermans will come, and I will be um, horrifically and brutally uh, ripped to shreds until all the blood uh, flows out of me 
and uh, I cease to uh, exist. Um, that's what happens here in Uncheshire. Yeah, because it's uh, a lovely place to live. Uh, unless you're a peasant, then it probably sucks mega balls. Uh, there's a pot here. When I was walking and talking, I found that pot. And uh, maybe I'll put it on the other side of the fence so I may recover it later, as it is probably not very biodegradable. So I will come back for that later. It's now raining harder here in Uncheshire. So I seem to still be rambling incoherently pretty much. That seems to be a flaw in this particular episode of a walk and talk, as there, generally speaking, is a, uh, a purpose, uh, a subject matter, and I have apparently uh, forgotten to put that in my little bag of tools. I, 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 I've mislaid the subject matter, and uh, so I am forced to... Uh, oh, here, I have an opening in the peasant protection fence. Keep the peasants out. The peasant will now leave the rich bastard son of a bitch cunt area and move back into the public government protected public area. Uh, the, uh, yes. Huh, I may breathe a sigh of relief because now I am uh, more safe from the vicious evil dogs of horror. And uh, I may now continue a public walk and talk, which is entirely different than one in Uncheshire. So I guess it would be time to end this video. And uh, I apologize that uh, it was entirely pointless and uh, of little or no practical functionality. Uh, eccentric, that's what it was. Like me, like all human organisms, it was in fact an eccentric pile of rubbish. Yes, that's what it was. It was most human, an eccentric pile of rubbish. Yes, when I have my own little art thingy, you know, where I get to be ignored by hundreds of millions of people and feel all sad and depressed, I am going to call my art thingy a eccentric pile of rubbish. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Uh, so anyway, until next time and such. Hey, Fred. It just, yeah, this was sort of a compliment, I think, but I don't know. I don't know. It could be on a borderline or something. Anyway, I'm done. I'm leaving. It's raining. Fuck.